What's up guys? Well, that last uh, video card I got broke literally like three minutes after I made the video. The screen just went black and it said no input. So, I sent that back. Get my 22 bucks back. That's about all that card's worth. So I didn't even get to try anything out. But, while I was looking for a different card to use in the meantime, while I wait for the real card that I want, I came across what's in this box, which I got off eBay used for $62 with free shipping. And I thought it was a real gem, personally. Wow, they really taped that up good, didn't they? Come on now. Jeez, postal tape. There we go. We got some packaging peanuts. That's always good. I like when people use those. That keeps the stuff safest, I think. But anyway. Open up this anti-static bag. Which the other card that I can't that I got uh, wasn't even in when I got here, which could be why it's broken. They said they open them up to test them before they ship them to you, and then they don't put them back in. I mean, what the fuck? That's stupid. But I'm getting my money back anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now. Static since I'm sitting on carpet. Now, at first glance, this card looks like a uh, 9800 uh, GTS or 8800 GTS. I can't remember if they made a 9800 GTS. No, I think it was an 8800 GTS or a 90 or a, what is it? 9800 GTX. There's an S, a GTS, and a GTX. But anyway, what this really is is a Asus 9800 GT Ultimate. Now basically what they did is, this isn't even a 9800 GT anymore really. I don't know why they even called it that, probably just to keep it cheap, because it was like $180 back in the day, brand new I guess. But anyway, this is based off of the 8800 GTS slash 9800 GTX. It has 128 stream processors instead of 112 like the normal 9800 and 8800 GTs. It still has 512 megabytes of uh, GDR, GDDR3 memory. And I believe that runs at a full 2000 megahertz on this. I'll have to look at my spec sheet. I, I honestly don't remember. And also it's a dual slot cooler instead of a single slot cooler. And that was really my only gripe with the 8800 and 9800 GTs. They were great little cards for the price, but you couldn't overclock them much because they'd overheat. Unless you put an aftermarket cooler on them. Or water-cooled them. But, anyway. What I got on this card is we've got a place to plug in your component cables or S-video cables, two DVI, the exhaust, and that's pretty much all we got. And then we have one SLI bridge. Ah, that's the other thing. If you had a 9800 GTX, it would have two of the SLI fingers on it. So you can't, you know, triple or quadruple this card. But, I mean, in this day and age, why would you? I just got this because it was 60 60 bucks and actually could play games, unlike that other card I bought, which broke. But anyway, this is turning into a huge, long unboxing video, and I didn't mean for it to turn into that. So, let's go uh, put this card in my computer and boot that thing up. Okay, let's see if this used card even works. That's a good sign. Alright, now do I have it plugged into the right DVI? Okay, that's interesting. Mm, 
Thank you. All right, well, that's starting now. Once it gets in the windows, I'll turn it back on. Okay, so I pulled up a little PDA or PDF file here. They're saying I was like 22% faster than all the other ones. And what I wanted to look for, here we go. Now, see, it also has a way higher clock than a normal 9800 GTs. Normally, it's 600 megahertz. And I don't remember what those two are, though. On a 9800 GT. But I'm sure those are different as well. Because basically, like I said, this card is an, an 8800 GTS slash 9800 GTX. They just kind of put a bunch of parts in there. So it's not even a core of a 9800 GT anymore. And that's why it was a good find for $62. At least I think. Anyway, back to... That's alright. Drivers are installed. Uh, not installed, but downloaded. Okay, cat was making some weird noises for a second. They're starting to get worried. He is an old cat after all. Always oh, go custom. Always perform a clean. Anyway, now, while that's installing, I will just turn the camera off because that's boring. Okay, so it's been running for a little while now. we got idle temps of about 58 degrees. That's that old 65 nanometer GPU idle temps for you. I remember those days. And see, we're shaders. we got 128 instead of 112. And there's the GPU clocks. Asus. And alright, I'm just going to run a quick 3D Mark 06 just to see how much worse this made my computer. I'm going to bet at least 17,000 3D Marks still, but we'll see. So I'll turn the camera back on after that's all done. Ah, it's close. 16,777. Now, I used to get 32,000 with my old card, so that's quite a bit worse, but... You know, it's all good, though. I'm sure I can still play games and whatnot. Oh, yeah. And then zoom in so everybody can see all those other ones. Alright, now I'm not going to, you know, review this car or anything because it's ancient. But, yeah, I'll definitely make some more videos as soon as I can get some more stuff. So, until then, peace out.